One of the questions I get asked a lot on this channel is about treasure islands. Where do I find them? How do I use them? Which one is the best one to use? Which one do I use? All those questions I'm gonna answer today in today's video because I said I would do a video on it. And so here I am. We're gonna be talking about treasure islands today. Also, I was kind of given the opportunity to offer some free one month memberships to the treasure island that I use. So thank you so much to Moon and Treasure Islands for allowing me to do this. Thank you so much. It's amazing. Anyway, let's get on into it. So first things first is for Treasure Island, you are going to need Nintendo Online. So you're not able to access this in game. So you can't just go to Captain and get to a Treasure Island, although that would be a dream. You are going to have to have Nintendo Switch Online. Now, the one I use is on Twitch. So that's the one I'm mainly going to be talking about today. But there are some available on YouTube as well. But to be honest, I'd highly recommend the one I'm using and the ones on Twitch. They just seem to be a little bit more variety to them so yeah definitely recommend those so first things first how do we find a treasure island so you want to head on over to twitch and you want to type in treasure islands into the search bar and then you want to click this one right here or you can just use the link that i have in the description down below whatever works best for you here you'll see that there is over 20 free islands for you to use freely so here all you need to do is go to your airport talk to orville pop in the dodo code and then off you fly there you go you go straight to the treasure island and you can pick up anything you see now this is not the same as a catalog island so a catalog island you will go to pick things up and drop those this island you do not do that you pick them up you keep it it's yours if you pick something up by mistake just pop it in the bin it's all good don't need to worry about it but don't drop the items because it can cause the island to crash and you don't want to do that because if you do that that's bad and then you won't be allowed to use these islands anymore the next thing that is to note is you can also get villagers here so if you really want that villager that you've been after for so so long you can finally get them here as long as you have an empty plot on your island just walk into any of the villagers houses that you see and just pick them up basically as long as they're here of course you can pick them up one thing that you need to make sure that you do on all the treasure islands is that you do leave through the airport and you don't quietly leave or leave using the minus button you don't want to do this this will also make the islands crash and it's just not very nice it's like it's not the decent thing to do so just be decent and leave through the airport now if you are looking for a specific item you can always type exclamation mark find and then the name of the specific item in the chat and the bot will tell you exactly where to find it which is super handy especially when you need a load of leaf pearls something else that you can do on these treasure islands is have maximum bells to do this you will need to go and grab these turnips that are in front of nook's cranny and then go sell them they will then put the max bells into your bank account so when you get back home you can check and they'll all be there now please do note though that when you do this this does mean you can't get the turnips at nook Mar redemption points you won't be able to get this it will stop you from getting that so if you want to get all your Nookma redemptions you're gonna have to make sure that you don't do this now there is always the option of picking up a bunch of crowns or picking up the bell bags themselves and you know just selling the crowns at your nook's cranny and then you'll get enough bells you'll get tons and tons of bells so you can always do it that way but obviously if you're not too fussed about the Nookma redemption then definitely look at getting into the turnip hack don't worry this won't break your game or anything but it will stop you from getting the redemption now you may be thinking to yourself aren't these islands going to be super busy and yeah they do especially on weekends and in evenings the islands get really really busy so maybe you don't want to have to deal with all the busy crowds maybe you would like it to be a little bit more quieter then maybe consider subscribing so the subscribing on twitch works the same way as memberships on youtube so you play a monthly subscription and then you get access to extra things now to do this you will have to have a discord account because as you can see the ones here without dodo codes these are for the subscribers so so you will need a discord to be able to access those so you can access the dodo code but we'll go through all that in just a second so the lovely owner of treasure islands moon has kindly offered us some free one month memberships for all you guys to win now we only have a few so everyone can't have one unfortunately as lovely as that would be all you have to do is make sure you're subscribed to the channel and that you've liked this video also you need to make sure that you have a discord account and that you're in my discord and also treasure islands discord now i will be posting a a channel in the discord where you can enter all you need to do like i said is join my discord pop in to that channel and let me know 
who is your favorite Animal Crossing villager? I will then message you and let you know if you have one. It's gonna be a random selection that we're gonna use, so everything should be fair. If you are a member as well, make sure that your Discord account and your YouTuber account are linked together. There are videos showing you how to do this on YouTube, so it's super easy to do, but make sure that you've linked your members account and your YouTube account just so you're in the Discord jellybean chat anyway. All you need to do is make sure you've done those things and you could win a one month to Treasure Islands, which is absolutely amazing. Now let's talk about the islands that the subscription allows you to use. So once you're subscribed to Treasure Islands and you get access to the Discord, you are going to lose your mind. It's absolutely crazy. I lost my mind the first time I did this. I was like, wow, all these islands are so organized. There is maps to show you where everything is. There's maps to show you the villagers. Some of the islands even have a rotation of villagers, which is very nice. So if you're looking for someone specifically, you can just wait or suggest it and you could see your villager there that you want to get. So the same rules apply to these islands there's just a few little extra things that you have to do so say if you're looking for a froggy chair you'll find out where your froggy chair is you can either look on the maps yourself and you'll see the letters or you can just check out catalog lookup here you can just put exclamation mark find just like you did in the chat and then type the item make sure it's correct and it will tell you exactly what islands you'll find it on so then you can just go grab it it's just as easy as that now once you're on these you do only get half an hour on each island to be honest that's plenty of time i feel like you don't need any longer than half an hour on a treasure island you get 50 minutes on the diy island so that gives you plenty of time to learn as many diys as you like but you can always come back what you need to make sure that you do though on these islands is that you join in the queue but before you do join a queue make sure that you have set your in-game name and island names when you join the queue you will be then tagged and shown a dodo code pop the dodo code in to the dodo orville area whatever we call that and then over you go over you fly it can only be a maximum of three people on an island at once that makes life so much easier as well it's less crowded also something important to note do not i repeat do not share dodo codes don't do it it's not cool you will get banned don't do it just just don't same rules apply here leave through the airport no minus button don't drop anything put it in the bin if you know that you're going to be making another trip back you will have to make sure that you leave the queue and then rejoin the queue now to be honest from my own experience i've never had to wait long to get on one of these treasure islands is so good so quick and it's amazing but so as long as you follow the rules and you're able to find anything you should be all good now something else that the subscription offers you is the option to use reds express now reds express will allow you to order up to 40 items which is amazing so all you have to do is create an order and then you basically got to find the items you want to order so say if you're looking up we're going to say froggy chair again so all you do is put dollar sign look up and then type froggy chair it will then offer you a code you can then say item customize and then customize it to one of the colors and it will give you an even more exclusive code which allows you to go for i don't know the blue froggy chair but let's be honest the green one is the best it's the only froggy chair we do need so anyway that allows you to do that you can then create an order of up to 40 items you then have to wait for the message to come through you get like 80 seconds to fly over so make sure that you have your dodo screen up and ready to go and you just fly over, pick up all your items, and then just leave through the airport. It's as easy as that. I honestly don't know where I would have been without these treasure islands for the past couple of years. They definitely helped me build all the islands that I create for everyone. So I just want to say thank you quickly to Moon and creating these treasure islands because honestly, I, I couldn't have made the islands that I make. Thank you so much. There is one more service that is offered from treasure islands, which is Comets. So I'll quickly briefly touch this on this because obviously it's a little bit more money than the normal subscription. This is what I am. So I pay for Comets. Now, Comets allows you to fly over to the island, grab a whole bunch from this island which is absolutely amazing You've got flowers bushes trees the works all the interior building stuff and you can also order the items whilst you're there you can look them up and order them straight away while you're stood there the little person here will just drop them for you it's actually amazing you can also order villagers which is absolutely insane any village you want if they're not on the normal treasure islands you could just order them here and just pick them up just be warned that if you want to do this just make sure you are ordering the villager before you actually fly to the island so that they'll actually be in there 
side plot for you waiting waiting for you to collect to take home so just like i said earlier i don't know where i'd be without using these treasure islands i definitely couldn't made all these islands that i've made on the channel i definitely couldn't so yeah thank you so much for treasure islands honestly thank you thank you thank you i recommend using them if you've never tried it before because you've been too scared i hope this video helps if not please join the treasure islands discord there's some super lovely helpful people over there that will definitely help you out they're super easy to use once you know what you're doing obviously if you're not too confident using the order bot you don't have to you can just use the normal treasure islands there are a bunch of free treasure islands that you can use but please do consider the subscriber islands so either becoming a star or a comet because not only are you getting access to some amazing islands that are less busy you're also helping support keep these islands going these lovely people don't have to do this but they do so any support to them for hosting these islands is obviously greatly appreciated so please consider doing it now, like I said, if you are interested in winning a one month star subscription to these treasure islands, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and like this video. Also join my Discord and post in the treasure islands channel on my Discord server, letting me know who your favorite Animal Crossing villager is for a chance to win a one month subscription. How amazing is that? You're gonna love it. As always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Come join the Jellybean family. Have the loveliest of days and I'll see you in my next one. Goodbye.